We're here today at the OFHA Hunting and Fishing Heritage Center, and there's no better place to talk about water than you're standing in front of a tank full of fish, right, Mike? That's right, man. I'm joined today with Mike Gibbs, the coordinator of the Lakeland Alliance. Mike, I understand there was a meeting today here you were attending. Tell me a little bit about that. Sure, yeah. So it was a meeting put on by the Community Stream Stewards uh, program that's run out of the OFAH offices here, and they do projects that improve um, uh, streams. Mm -hmm. um, and so we had a number of other project partners here. Uh, the Otonabe Region Conservation Authority was here, and myself. And we had uh, three representatives from the Environmental Farm Plan. And the Environmental Farm Plan, they do projects with farmers that improve the water quality outputs from the properties. So um, we all have one thing in common, and that was, was improving water quality. We're here in the beautiful Kawartha Lakes. Water really takes uh, front and center stage, doesn't it? Sure does, yeah. So, I mean, it's important to us in terms of tourism. It's important to us because you know, we have a significant um, uh, cottaging uh, community here in, in the Kawarthas, and uh, the city of Peterborough also um, draws its water from the Otonabe River, so having safe and, and clean water is important uh, to everybody. And coming up actually tomorrow is the big day that a lot of people around the world are actually focusing mm. on, World Water Day. Tell me a little bit about that. Sure, yeah. So we'll be, uh, we'll be doing uh, an event on World Water Day over the lunch hour. Um, and the theme for World Water Day this year is uh, Water for Cities, which okay. is quite appropriate for, for, uh, for Peterborough. Um, uh, but we'll, we'll be having uh, a number of speakers. We'll have myself and uh, Meredith Carter from the Otonabe Region Conservation Authority talking about, uh, just briefly, about uh, the watershed and where our water comes from. And then we'll be having uh, Dorothy Taylor, who's a representative from Curve Lake, uh, uh, First Nations. Uh, she'll be talking uh, just briefly about uh, how water is important from a First Nations perspective. And then we'll have Wayne Stiver, who's the Vice President of the Water Utilities here in town. And he's going to give a, a, an intriguing talk about the history of drinking water in, in the city of Peterborough. And from what I understand, it's a really fascinating talk because he's got some really great images and, and a great story to tell. Why is um, celebrating World Water Day so important to us? <laughs> well, I think we all need to kind of you know, take a day and to kind of think about, you know, how just how important water is for life, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we all need it, uh, and uh, we need to work hard to protect it, and we need to be ongoing stewards of, of water. So I think it's a good opportunity for us to take a moment and to reflect and, and to look at, you know, some of the people in our communities that are doing work around water and working hard to improve that for everybody. So. If you want more information, how can people get in touch? Sure, yeah, just give me a call. I am at the Peterborough Greenup office, and um, just give me a call. Registration isn't uh, required. It's going to be taking place between 11.30 and 1.30 mm -hmm. uh, on March 22nd, and we're going to be down at the public library in the basement there. Um, we're going to have some groups there that will have displays, and we'll have some additional information as well. So it's just over that lunch hour. If you're going to sneak, sneak out of the office and, and come down and join us, we'll have an extremely fascinating uh, talk from Wayne Stiver. So Sounds like down. a great event. Yeah, I should mention as well, we've got a light lunch and some refreshments that will be provided, and we'll be, do we'll be doing some draws for prizes as well to get folks to come out. Speaking of lunch, I think these fish are looking <laughs> a little hungry. What do you think? I think we should watch the feeding. I think it'd be cool. I think that's a good idea. Right on. All right, thanks for joining us today on The Green Update, and we'll see you again next week. The Green Update is brought to you by Peterborough Transit. Come on board with our on-time services. If you have any questions about today's episode of The Green Update, call Peterborough Green Up at 745-3238.